My name is Michael Brenner. Um, I'm a professor of applied mathematics in the School of Engineering and Applied Science. And um, this past semester, I taught a class called Applied Math 201, which teaches sort of mathematical methods for solving hard science problems. It's a first year graduate class that's been core actually at Harvard for longer than I've been alive. I actually am quite interested in the idea that we build models, chatbots that can solve sophisticated problems. I think, you know, although it's true that it would make teaching a class like this more challenging because there would exist tools that would solve the problems. Um, I, I see that as an opportunity. So we have problem sets in our class. And and um, on, on these problem sets, you know, I sort of, as you might imagine in a math class, ask math questions. So there are solve this ordinary differential equation, solve these ordinary differential equations, solve these integrals, things like this. And what I did is I asked the students to solve these problems as I always would. Um, but then every homework set had a part at the end, which was called generative AI, in which I asked the students to pick their favorite chatbot in Harvard's generative AI toolbox um, and try to teach it to solve some of these problems and to do that by building prompts. And, you know, I told them that, you know, I don't expect them, I, that they're not going to be graded on whether the chatbot can solve the problem. I just want them to try the best they can. And then when they're done, they were instructed to please upload their best prompts, their best ways of teaching the chatbot to a form so that we could have it in the class. The next stage in this, the final stage, was that in our class, we have final projects um, in which students carry out research projects on their own. I proposed to the class that we have a project on generative AI in which the goal would be for the, the students to sort of teach the gener a generative AI model to solve the exam that I give in the class every year. And so just to sort of show you this, um, so here's the... Um, Here's the exam from this year in this class in which, you know, again, as you would expect, the, um, the, the exam hilariously says generative AI is not allowed, but here we're suspending that and asking, can we get generative AI to solve this? So, you know, I give the students a series of problems, you know, which I think are rather difficult and that their job is to solve them. And the question was, could they, could we build them, could we make the model solve these problems? And so th the way that we did this, we had about 15 students take this on and um, we divided them into three groups. The first group's job was to do prompt engineering, namely to take all of the prompts that had been submitted by the students throughout the semester and to put them together and to evaluate which prompts were better or worse on which problems. And so we basically co constructed a massive data set of prompts from the class and evaluated them quantitatively. That was the first group. Second group um, job was data set generation. So in order to train, to, to evaluate whether a chatbot can can solve a class of problems. You need a lot of problems upon which to evaluate them. And so I asked the students if they could construct a set of problems to do this, which required figuring out how to, and not only problems, but also solutions, remember. Um, this required being able to automatically generate problems and solutions um, for problems like the ones I showed you, which in itself is actually a complicated technical challenge, which I thought was quite interesting. And then the third group of students basically were asked to build the infrastructure to put together the prompting and the data sets to try to both evaluate and train a chatbot to basically solve the class. Um, and, you, you know, the, the results were really fabulous. We don't yet know the answer. I'm hoping that this will continue as a project with the students, with some of the students, you know, after the class ends. But but the, but the students were able to, um, to, to demonstrate that, um, that, you know, that chatbots could get pretty far with solving, you know, our problems. And just to give you a small taste of this, um, this is a plot from one of the students' reports in which what they plot is for different types of problems. They, they What they did is they created a very detailed rubric um, to um, to score the, the problems, how well you're doing. And this is showing the, and it's out of 25 points, this is showing the distribution of scores for different prompting strategies, you know, um, and you, you see that the, the best solutions get up to like 20 or 17 out of 20, 22 out of 25 on this, which is actually a pretty good score, even out of the box without any um, training and whatnot. So um, so that was what we did. So what did I learn? I mean, I think the primary thing I want to emphasize is that is that I feel that this was an interesting experiment, mainly because it helped the students more deeply engage with the material of the class than they ever had before, that it actually has nothing to do with generative AI. I basically, um, you know, if you think about what I just showed you with 
the, um, the, the rubric that was invented by the students to evaluate the problems. That required really taking these problems, breaking them down into steps that were bite-sized and understanding what were the, the, the things that were required to solve these problems, which in itself is a fabulous intellectual exercise. The, um, the, the, the automatic generation of problems is, is a challenging exercise. To do that, you really have to understand the problems more deeply than you would have before. And then, of course, there's the teaching aspect of it. So, you know, even leaving aside the, the fascinating intellectual question of how well modern chatbots can do on a graduate level mathematics class like mine, I feel that just pedagogically, um, this is very powerful and it's something I'd like to continue to incorporate in the future.